Mm-hmm. So, last for the year, and you know we had to go out with our band, so we're doing a real nice black eyed peas and rice cook up. Now, as you should know, or if you don't know, I'll tell you now that eating black eyed peas around this time in the year is very traditional. It is part of our West African heritage, and eating black eyed peas for old years into New Year's or for New Year's Eve is said to bring good luck and prosperity for the new year. So, we're keeping it traditional, are doing a real nice black eyed peas and rice cook up, keeping it vegan for this one but if you wanted to add meat of course you could add meat i hope you didn't throw out your ham bone because you could throw your ham bone in there for great flavor if you have your turkey carcass you can make a nice turkey broth and you know flavor up this real good but if you don't have that fear not i have you covered we have the usual suspects your ginger your onion garlic pepper bay leaf ruku spices herbs you know you know the thing we're gonna make this real nice and flavorful so without further ado let me get into it one time so I have here one and a quarter cups of black eye peas that I had soaking overnight. I use a two to one ratio in terms of peas to water. So one and a quarter cups of peas to two and a half cups of water. Put that to soak overnight and it should be good to go in terms of reducing the amount of cooking time to get these peas soft and tender. All right, so time to get the peas on the way. I'm gonna toast my spices first, going in with some coriander seeds, about half a teaspoon, and half a teaspoon of jeera. So as soon as you start to smell the spices toasting, you wanna go in with your oil. And now we add in two medium onions diced. And it's really important to go through these steps of sorting the aromatics because you want to get the most flavor out of them. You don't want to just put them into a pot and let them boil away. That is not extracting the most amount of flavor from it. So, frying it in the oil, letting it saute, it's going to develop great flavor. And we're going to let this saute for about one minute. Now you want to add the ginger. And there's about three tablespoons of minced ginger. Eight cloves of minced garlic. I'm going to saute this for about 30 seconds. Add in about one cup of carrots. And we're seasoning in layers, so I add in a pinch of salt now. Add in a tablespoon of paprika, two bay leaves, cinnamon stick. Now we're going to add our peas. Just give this a toss. Add in a few sprigs of fine thyme. And now I add in three cups of water. And I'm gonna cover this and allow it to cook for 30 minutes. You want the piece to get nice and tender before we start adding the rice and the other ingredients. Okay, so half an hour later, I'm gonna check on the pot. Nice, looking good. Peas looking like they're cooked. Looking like the tender, just gonna give it a taste and see. Mm -hmm. So I have two cups of washed rice here and I like to wash the rice to take out some of the starch from it. I do like a starchy black eyed peas and rice, that kind of gloopy finish. Some people like that, but that's not my scene. So wash the rice a few times and that will give you a nice kind of grainy texture in the end product. So add in the rice. I'm going to give this a mix. Now we're going to add about a quarter cup of ruku and one cup of coconut milk. Give that a little stir around, a little mix. I add in about three to four tablespoons of oil here and that is to give the rice a nice sheen when it's finished cooking. Add in our scotch bonnet pepper right in the middle there to disperse our heat into the dish. And now we're gonna cover this and allow it to steam on low heat for about 10 minutes. All right, time to check on this rice. Looking good. 
Just gonna give that a mix up. At this point, I wanna taste it for salt. I'm giving it just a pinch. And you wanna add the salt at this point while the dish is still hot so that it could season the entire dish properly. Final touch is some fresh thyme. Moving the pepper before I burst it. I'm just gonna give this one final mix. I'm just gonna go in for a taste here, so fixing myself a little small plate. And just a little one spoon to taste now and give you my, my thoughts on it. Going in, I mean, still piping hot, but we're going in. Lovely, lovely flavor. The rice perfectly cooked, perfect texture. And this is how I like it, you know, like a little bit of graininess. That's how I like my rice, a little bit of graininess, but still real moist. This is the perfect consistency rice for me. So yeah, we in a proper gear here. Mm -hmm. So let's see what's happening here. I ain't even finished tell all you how this thing tastes and I'm almost halfway through the rice. It tastes in that good. You see the onion, the garlic, the ginger, and then the spices, the fine thyme, real flavor. And then the coconut milk and the ruku, you know, it give it a real kind of creaminess, real flavorful, real delicious. And I know people say they don't really like black eyed peas and things, but Dred, if you season and flavor up your beans or your peas properly, they will always hit, never miss. So this is definitely something to try. Uh, this rice and peas cook up and of course as I said if you wanted to add meat you have your ham bone or your turkey the make a turkey broth a ham bone broth and flavor this up turkey neck whatever the case may be you can add things to this and give it even more flavor but as is this is a really delicious recipe so I hope you try it wow 2021 was a year it was definitely a year. So I want to take this opportunity now to really thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel in all the different ways that you do. In, you know, sharing the recipes, trying the recipes, subscribing, commenting, you know. I just really appreciate all the support that we've gotten for the year. And hopefully you stay on and we bring you even more stuff in 2022. Um, just a quick note, I do have a recipe book that's out right now um, called Gova Season. I'll provide a link for it in the description below. It's a free ebook, so feel free to download that and share it. To everyone who has downloaded and shared uh, the book so far, thank you so much for the support. The support has been overwhelming. So again, really grateful for that. And yeah, you know, um, it's been my pleasure making these videos. Um, putting out videos on the channel and sharing stuff with you all and I hope that I could bring even more stuff um, More great videos more great content in 2022. So look out for that and in the meantime you all be safe take care Social distance wear your mask and do all that is required for us to really try to see this thing through and for us to come out on the other side So yeah again, thank you so much stay safe and bless later